Hey guys, welcome to a new video on this channel, Chalo Gaming. Today I will be showing you an amazing website that can help you feel as if you were being analyzed as a pro Clash Royale player does who plays in Clash Royale League. I've already analyzed Tech Shop Pro, which is a website that allows you to, to choose from hundreds of different uh, decks in Clash Royale and uh, therefore you can choose the best deck for uh, trophy pushing or winning challenges or the deck which we you can have the most fun with and I've also analyzed already a web page called Stat Royale which is similar to this one but it focuses more on um, tracking uh, how well you're progressing with your trophies in ladder while the one that I'm going to show you today focuses more on esports and um, fully analyzing every single one of your battles. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go into Google and you want to search Royale and then API or API <clears throat> and it's the first one that you see here. So you're going to click it and you're going to enter this one, um, this page right here. Um, so I'm going to show you um, exactly what you can find in this uh, page and why it's so cool. So. First of all, as in every other uh, web page similar to this one, you have um, the creator code over here, which you can enter in the shop, and you have um, see, uh, information about the seasons, uh, decks that are viable, this meta, and everything like that. If you go clicking around here, and you click on learn more, <clears throat> sorry, and um, in addition, when you go down, it's similar to Stats Royale, as you can have um, you have decks from the top 200 ladder uh, meta decks that are popular within the 12 grand challenge decks such as an expo or uh, royal giant and stuff like that and you also have some partners um some youtubers who offer great content and great decks for uh you to learn and right here you have uh some professionals players for example you have surgical gobbling in the spotlight and you have everything that um his best achievements um over his uh, lifetime. Then you have the, the the people with the most 12 win grad challenges and the global leaderboard. Um, then if you scroll to the bottom, you have, uh, it focuses around clans. You have the clans wars leaderboard and the global leaderboard and you have clan families. If you jump into this, you can actually see many, many um, clans who are actually part of a clan family which you can join. For example, this Royal Api clan family, there's actually nine clans which are part of the same um, family and you can join it and you can go um, from one clan to another inside the same family, which is really cool if you're actually searching for another clan. You see you have so many clans to choose from, um, but this is uh, just one of the cool features. So if you go into clans, um, you can see the clan families, the clan leaderboard and war leaderboard, as I said before. Um, then the other cool aspect that it has is it focuses a lot on esports. So if you click on esports, you actually get carried to here where you can see um, the matches and the events that are happening um, in short time. For example, here you see the GKR leagues where Team Liquid is playing in midwinter in around two hours. And you can add it to calendar and you can see where to watch it and just follow um, the professional league from here. Um, you also have uh, information about, for example, No Tilt, which is a global event, and all that stuff. Um, you can also check out here the leagues, uh, the players, the teams, the schedule, how the standings are. For example, let's check the leagues. And you can uh, see all the different um, Clash Royale leagues that there are. So let's jump, for example, in the CRL, which is one of the most popular ones. And you will see right here all the standings, the groups, um, the recent matches and stuff. Um, however, when you go back to the um, first page, the actual cool stuff uh, you have is if you enter your name tag over here, um, which you can find in your profile right underneath um, your name, uh, you will be able to log into yours. But from here, you can also just type in your name, Chalo Gaming for my, for my uh, username, and you can uh, find yourself. And when you click on you, you will find uh, you will see your profile <clears throat> in which you have all your uh, upcoming chests um, you have also it also tells you 
um, how ready you are for each clan war season. For example, here you have all the different um, <clears throat> uh, clan war cap levels. For example, if you play in a clan that has a gold that is in the gold league uh, for clan wars, um, you all your cards are going to be capped at level 11. So um, it tells you if you have all your cards capped at level 11 and your clan is in gold, you are very ready for those wars as all your cards are going to be the same uh, level as the cap and you're not going to be under leveled. It tells you which ones are over leveled and um, the count of your cards that are exactly that level. As you can see, I don't have any legendary nor maxed uh, cards yet, but I will be getting them soon. Don't worry about that. And you also have some of your stats, the previous seasons, the 1v1 games, the ladder, the tournaments, and just everything like that. Um, you also have how many cards you found, what your challenges look like, and everything. And then you have your deck, um, how close you are to um, leveling up some cards and stuff. And here you can just, uh, for example, clan history, you can see all the different clans that you join. If you click this, trophy history, you see uh, the evolution of your decks. Um, but for this, uh, the, the, um, if you want to focus on trophies, I would um, recommend you check out Stats Royale. And then you also have the clan war history, uh, which wars you won, which wars you lost, which attacks you won, which attacks you didn't win, etc. Um, but the very cool part about this is that when you jump to battles, um, you have a lot more features than in any of the other website that I've ever found. And for example, let's just take this battle, the last one I did. It was against Johnny Boy 17 And when you take a look at over here, um, you have four different buttons. It's matchup, replay, overlay, and emote log. We'll go uh, first with matchup and I'll explain what it does. Um, when you click matchup, a separate, this opens up, which is, um, it tells you who it was better off to win uh, when no cards had been placed, like which deck was most likely to win. And um, if, if it is all blue, it means that you were um, more ready to win. And if it's more red, it means that the other person um, was more ready to win. This that it says here, the sample size, that's these, these buttons over here. Um, it means that the data, if it's red, the data is unreliable as only one battle was analyzed. Um, if it's yellow, it's adequate because 19 battles were um, analyzed. And if it's green, it's reliable. For example, maybe in this one, it's in green. Let's check that. Yeah, as 863 battles were analyzed, um, the data we can say is reliable. Um, and you can say it says uh, if for the exact match, um, if the decks are matching seven cards or more, and if the decks are matching six cards or more. Um, the next feature you can check is the replay, which is actually the coolest feature that this um, website has. When you click on it, actually another, um, you have to be logged into your account uh, for this one, but this opens up in the bottom and you can see all the card placements that happened and how many times you placed it for example i want to know what my cannon placement what what my musketeer or cannon placement looked like well i can just hover the mouse over the musketeer and you'll be able to see all the different places where i actually placed my musketeer during the matchup or for example the cannons well those are where i place my cannons all of them in the same spot um this is you want to check this to see if you're making mistakes if not how many spells you used to get chip damage, uh, the logs as well, um, their troops, just like that. Um, and this is actually very cool. Here, um, you can analyze how many troops you use. For example, here it says total 55 troops you used against 38 theirs. And this is because my troops are a lot cheaper than um, their troops, so I was able to place more of them. But in total, we actually used up the same amount of elixir, one for three, one for three. Um, and then uh, you can just use this to check if you made any mistakes in placement, where you should place uh, your musketeers more often, your other troops more often, what is the optimal placement for your uh, giants, hog riders, anything. And you can just watch over here, you can watch the whole um, replay again if you want to watch it. Um, the next uh, feature is the overlay, which is the blue button. And once you click on it, 
another separate page opens and it makes you feel as if you were um, actually a professional player. Because see, it says Chalo Gaming. It's super cool because of the colors and it says the matchup that you had. The 6 out of 8 is if 6 out of the 8 cards were um, exactly the same. Like if, if 2 cards are changing in the, in the deck, I, my deck would win 74%, 74 uh, times out of every 100. <clears throat> out of every 100 times, sorry. And then it says the leaked elixir, the total elixir, and everything. So this actually makes you feel as if you were a pro. Um, and then when you go back, the other one, the last one is the emote log. And this is very cool and very funny because it actually has a BM score and it rates your BM, how good you are BMing out of 100. For example, the, mo the more emotes you use, the better you are BMing, for example. <laughs> so I got a score out of 7 because I only used uh, one emote and they got a score out of 0 because they didn't, they didn't use any. But for example, let's go into this one. See, the BM is better for him because he used um, 3 um, emotes while I used 2 at the start. So he's a better BMer than I am. I don't know if if you wanna focus on being a better BMer, you can actually come here. And yeah, these are all the cool analysis you can use. Uh, there's also a page called Analytics, where if you open it, it'll, it'll tell you about your cards. You can adjust the time as well here, if in one day, three days, 14 days, for example. And it tells you what cards you use the most and uh, the win rate you have with those cards. Uh, this can actually help you understand which cards you should be using more or which cards you should be using less because you're losing a lot with them or because you're winning a lot with them. Um, and uh, the cards in the decks, you can also, um, it's how leveled up they are or what are the best uh, decks uh, for you. Um, and you can also check that in the previous video that I did of Stat Royale, but um, this is, and over here, you can see that it says 4,874 out of 5,336. That means this is, these are my current trophies and this is my personal best in trophies. So it actually motivates you to beat your past um, personal best. So I really like this uh, website because it actually shows you um, so detailed statistics of your matches. Um, it gives you a lot of, um, it motivates you to keep playing and being better at the game and it involves you in the esports um, world of Clash Royale if you want to check it and uh, get involved with professionals and just follow the league. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Um, that will uh, allow me to know if you want more of these videos because even though I mostly make gameplays, I also want to bring some cool features that Clash Royale has outside of gaming that can also improve your game or make you enjoy the experience even more. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me a lot. And uh, see you in the next one. Hi guys. Thank you for watching.